<laughs> Hold up. We back up in this day. Yes, we are. What's up, y'all? Hopefully, y'all got y'all bars up. But anyways, what's up, world? This your boy, BA For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. <laughs> so, we back up in this day. Yes. Yes, I did bring another glass of wine for this evening. Yes, yes, yes. I want to welcome everybody uh, back to episode three of Battle Rap Track Sheets. Now, why do I say, what, what is Battle Rap Track Sheets? Well, if this is your first time here, this is when I go back through Battle Rappers' resumes and see uh, the, the matches, uh, see what their records are looking like against notable opponents, of course, definitely against notable opponents. So if the name is not well known or it's, it's, it got lost in space somewhere, then we're probably not gonna count that battle. But um, if you all uh, wanna know more about it or whatnot, and you wanna check out other episodes, look look down, look, look at both of these thumbnails right here. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I did one, my first episode I did on Tay Rock. The second I did on New Jersey Twerk. This third will be on none other than Tsunami Surf, yes, yes. Now, Mr. Sue Surf hails from uh, Newark, New Jersey, yes, yes. He says he has a house in Virginia, but I, I don't know nothing about that, but the book was dead dope, though. Yes, yes, I did support. Yes, I do support Battle Rap outside of Battle Rap, yes, yes. Am I about to go get up and get that book? No, no, but I got it, though. But, uh, yeah, this will be Sue Surf. Now, Sue Surf... Uh, is considered uh, is considered one of the legends in battle rap. Um, he's been crowned this, he's been crowned that, and uh, I mean, you know, um, he I believe that he deservingly should be a notable name in battle rap. He's entertaining, he's electric, all of that. You feel me? His charisma, all of that. And then he's a good talker. He talks his way out of a lot of things. He's a good talker. But anyways, um, getting into his track record, let's get it. First up. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle rap track sheet. Yeah, that's what I said. Anyway, first up, Young Eel. Now this battle right here, this battle was uh back in the day was a classic. I actually kind of still look at it as a classic. Uh, if you've been in the game as long as I I have been uh, watching this, then you would know that this battle was monumental at one time. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, Sue Surf is about to get some competition. Oh my gosh, Young Eel's crazy. And this is back then when um. The Midwest had a little battle versus the East Coast. We can say New York. We can say New York State. Yeah, we're going to say New York State. And um, the Midwest and New York State, they both were clashing. But then out of uh, uh, out of that clash, one of the battles were uh, was Young Eel versus Sue Surf. Now, this battle particularly, um, this was a very, very highly debatable battle to me. But who I edged it to, I edged it to, uh, to, to Young Eel. I think Young Eel got Sue Surf on this day. Uh, Sue Surf stopped short uh, by believing the first and uh, was it the third? One of those rounds or whatnot. But with that being said, I got Sue Surf taking the L to Young Eel in, that, in, in this matchup in particular. But fire matchup, I suggest that if you are... Um, if you're learning, if you want to learn more about battle rap and the history of it, definitely go see this battle. This battle was it set the stage for a lot of things that are happening today. This is back when you, uh, Young Eel was one of the very first like real performers, like performing his bars out, etc. That's what made this dope back then. He was doing things back then that were super mind blowing because he was one of the first of his kind. Opposed to now, everybody tries to do it. They try to do the. I'm not gonna call it the PG step and talking. Nah, nah. My guy pulled out a prop. He pulled out a belt. I can never forget. He pulled out a belt on Sue Surf. But anyway, I got Young Eel taking that one. Next battle, DNA. Now, this battle right here, this battle right here, it was pretty solid. It was pretty solid. Uh, with that being said, I, uh, this was one of those battles where I think DNA took, I think DNA took this battle clearly. Uh, he overpowered Surf, and I believe that he had more. And uh, yeah, DNA took this battle to me. To me, I think he took it. Uh, next up, X Factor. X Factor. Who is X Factor? Y'all be like, where's X? Who? 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 Is that, is that the Tom and Jerry guy? Is that the Tom and Jerry guy? Well, he before he was a Tom and Jerry guy, he was one of them hitters. He was one of them hitters in the Midwest. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Most uh, most definitely. But with that being said, I actually had Sue Surf winning this battle versus X Factor. X Factor did well, but uh, Surf just had more. Getting into this next battle, K Shine. Yeah, yeah, K Shine, Mr. NWX today. Yeah, but before he was NWX, he was Dot Mob. Yeah, 
He was a, he was in a group called Dot Mob. He wasn't recycling though. He wasn't recycling. He wasn't he wasn't like one of the leaders T Rex. He wasn't recycling. No disrespect to T Rex, but yeah, K Shine wasn't recycling. But with that being said, I got Sue Surf beating K Shine. I think that this was a really really good battle, and the way that Shine I, and that's this is crazy. Damn, I'm getting old, y'all. I'm getting old. I remember. In that first round, K Shine coming out swinging. He brought that heat. I was like, ah, oh, Sue. Sue Surf is about to get 30. Ah. But Sue Surf does what he does. He, he, he does what he always does. He came in and he, he talked and pandered to the crowd. And I got Sue Surf winning that battle. Uh 2 1 winning that second and that third. Yes. Yes. I told you I'd do this. I watched these battles. Some of y'all gonna be like, nah, 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 K Shine won. I ain't see it that battle. Uh, I ain't see it that battle. You can go back and watch it. We, I might have to go back and watch it after this anyway. But anyways, solid battle. But I got uh, I got Sue Surf beating K-Shine. Next up, a mother freaking classic. This was a classic. I, I still watch this battle to this day. A highly debatable. Well, it wasn't debatable to me. Still, it's not debatable. But it's still a classic. Both of them, the way that they both came out. This T, Big T, Big Tony, y'all. Yeah, I know y'all like, well, he just had a battle that he just, Tuna's been doing it. He fell off all the... Man, Big T used to be one of them dudes back in the day. I'm trying to tell y'all. I don't know what happened. Time does what it does. People get too comfortable, all of that. But no. Big Tuna was on one versus uh, versus Sue Surf. Sue Surf did his thing. Surf came in and he did his thing too. They were in a shoe store. Ah! You talk about vintage setup. You talking about a volume type battle before smack volume type battles are even out right now ah! with that being said i got big t winning this battle y'all this was a very this is this this could have been a debatable battle i could see it being debatable but i actually got big t actually taking that a little clearly uh but sue surf was talking sue was talking uh with that being said next battle this is a battle that people sleep on because they're like, who the hell is this guy? But he, this guy's still relevant. He's not relevant on the big stages anymore, but this will be Mr. Bricks Belvy. Bricks, he did decent versus Surf. He did very decent versus Surf, but I got Surf winning this battle, y'all. Yeah, I got Surf beating Bricks very, very clearly. Next up, Conceited. Ah! I gotta sip some wine to this one because this one right here, <laughs> y'all should go back and watch this. I know Conceited doesn't translate. His bars don't translate to the today's battle rap. You feel me? But back then, I remember watching this battle for the first time. I almost, I almost freaking lost my mind. Yeah, we're gonna sip to that. Hey, yeah, this, this is a classic right here. This is another classic. Sue Surf, I see you. I see these classics. I see you got some classics on your hand. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's a couple more down the line. Yes, I'm sure it is, but let me, let's step to that. Mm-hmm. Get your bars up, definitely get your bars up. But anyways, um, I got I got Conceited taking that battle. I like what Surf was doing, but Conceited just had a little bit more. Um, it's, it's amazing how I can go back and watch that battle and still get them chills down my spine. It's crazy. That's how fire this battle was. Uh, but next up, Hollow the Don, Hollow the, the, the Nine. You feel me? He, hey, he, he repped that H Town too. I know he's from New York, but he he, he grew up sipping uh, sipping syrup. You feel me? And all of that stuff in the H drop, riding by slow, all of that. Ah! With that being said, this was a really dope battle. To, well, it wasn't super dope. It was cool. It was a cool battle. Let me let me check myself. The names were huge though. Uh, but with that being said. I actually had uh, Sue Surf beating Hollow. I, I, I liked Hollow, but uh, Sue Surf just had more to me in this battle. Uh, next up, Charlie Clips. Ah! Sue Surf versus Charlie Clips. We gotta do another, we gotta sip another one for this one, yeah. This is back when Charlie Clips was the best in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When Mr. Charlie Clips TV was the best in the world, yes. Believe it or not, he was. He was for a good three, four years. It was crazy. It was a crazy. He had a he had a great run. But with that being said, I remember Sue Surf. The last line I remember from Sue Surf was the was the um, was the Ray Charles see his brother go line. That that. Ooh. <laughs> but <sighs> Charlie Clips gave Sue Surf his own day. 
And what the what the F happened to, to Sue Surf Day? He gave him one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sue, Sue Surf choked these he choked these rounds. He didn't he wasn't prepared these rounds. I don't know if he had something personally going on because he was saying some bars, but Charlie Clips got him all three rounds. Am I gonna call it a body? No. But was it a clear W for Clips? Yes. So I got Clips beating Surf uh that battle. Next up, Hitman Holla. <laughs> now this battle right here. Ah! This is another one of those battles where Hitman goes and I think it's going to get dark because Hitman's first round is legendary in this battle. His first round is legendary. It's when he brings out his brother and it was... Ah! Mm. With that being said, I still got... I got Surf winning this battle. I got Surf winning that second and that third. Hitman's first was dope. Fire. Fire, but he kind of... He kind of went downhill the second two rounds, but uh, he overall is still a pretty good, a pretty good battle. Uh, that first round is rewatchable. The whole battle can be rewatchable actually because it it goes in the history books as one of those really really good battles. Not classic though, but it was a really good battle. Uh, next up, Daylight. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of Daylight's rare appearance versus some big top names because you know Daylight he he in his own world right now. He's trying to heal the world and do whatever he's trying to do. I don't know, Mr. Spawn himself, you feel me? Mr. Ski Mask, yeah, 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 yeah. We know who you are, Daylight. That 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 freestyle, you feel me? Why go to why go to Kenneth when it's pyramids in the Grand Canyon? Ah jeez. Ah, one of my one of my best one of my favorite freestyles of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I, I listen, I hear bars. I'm a trained listener. Yes I am. But with that being said, this battle I didn't like this battle. I didn't like this battle. Why? Is because if you actually go back and you watch it, it was um, it was in Snoop uh, Snoop Dogg Gladiator School. At one point, Snoop Dogg decided to come and get battle rappers and make some extra money on the side on battle rappers. It didn't work because when this battle dropped and came out, they did it. They chopped it up. They tried to do these little these effects, these visuals. It was horrible, y'all. It was horrible, y'all. I hate that I even got to judge this battle. But if I had to give it to somebody, I would give that to Sue Surf as well. I got him uh, beating Daylight uh, during uh, the in the Gladiator School. Gladiator School. Snoop, don't ever do that again. And you haven't done it ever again. It's been about five years. And yeah, yeah, just can just still be a fan. Just still be a fan. If you want to vlog about it, talk your ish. But this Gladiator, nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. That's that. No, no, no. That the King Bay. No, no. We can't let you get away with that. But anyways, uh, next battle, Tay Rock. Yes. Now, Mr. Tay Rock, we're going to talk about Mr. Tay Rock a little further down. Yes, we are. We definitely are. Um, I got Surf beating Tay Rock. I, I like what Tay Rock was doing, but Surf, uh, Surf just, uh, like, I, I, could, I, I was relating more to Surf than Rock in this battle. I was feeling Surf a little bit more. Therefore, I got Surf taking this battle. And uh, Tay Rock did his thing, but uh, I still think Surf beat him. I think Surf got him. Transitioning to next up, Calico. Yes. I remember this like it was yesterday, too. This was on the UW. The UW. Yes, the UW. Uh, this was uh, Arsenal's league. And um, I just remember Sue Surf kind of not being prepared. I don't know. He he was on this. I don't know. This is when he was in his downtime because he, he had a slope where he was... People are like, he's dying, he's falling off, this, that, this, that, and that's true. That's true. He got rejuvenated, but we're going to talk about that a little later. But with that being said, I got Calico clearly, clearly, clearly beating Surf. But Surf did well. He did well. He said some things, but he just was not connecting, and I don't know. He was on this, I don't want to say bourgeois, bougie. I don't, I don't want to say all of that, but yeah, he was he was on something else, that battle. But next up, Averb. Yes, I remember this battle too. This was when uh, he was still in his, uh, Sue Surf was still in his, he still was in his funk. He still was, he, he was on a decline at this time, y'all. He was uh, damn near rock bottom. He was damn near rock bottom. And uh, he battled, he ended up uh, battling Averb on Guerrilla Warfare. And he just kept telling, if y'all don't be quiet, then I'm not going to rap. I'm not going to rap it to y'all. Yeah, rap, 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 rap. I remember all of that. That's crazy been doing this for too long y'all i've been doing that's the wine the wine helping me remember right now yeah 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 because i'm trying to get my bars up yeah i think i got my bars up but anyways yeah llc stop hating don't hate don't hate anyways um i got 
I got a verb beaten. I got a verb beaten surf. I think surf uh, surf was that was another time where he was kind of thrown off his game. I don't think he was just there. I, I think he was just there for a check. That's what it seemed like. And surf has always been one of those ones. That he always says if it's not on the URL, it doesn't count. Well, when you follow battle rap like I do and you follow battle rap like a lot of these people do uh, that are fans, uh, then like every three round battle counts. And uh, Averb definitely got you. We're going to sip. We're going to sip. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyways, transitioning to, we're not counting the two on twos, but the two on twos. The reason why I'm talking about the two on two, the gun titles, yes. It's because this was the first time that we've seen Tay Rock. And, and Sue Surf together. And for some reason, Surf was on a decline. He was on a decline. I'm talking about, so I'm telling y'all. Like, he was there talking about battling Mook, and it was just like, ah, oh, whatever. But Sue Surf was just like crashing during this moment. And when they tag team together and made the history that they did, the first two rounds versus NWX, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, real talk. When they came together, it's like Tay Rock at the time was the hottest thing in URL. He was the face. He was the guy. He was the URL god. Like facts. Like facts. You can't tell me otherwise. He was the number one guy at that time. And uh, this is when, um, I got This is when. Uh, this is when Sue Surf was like, ah, his name was like dwindling away, low key. His name was like, because he was losing a lot of battles, y'all. And he was not giving a, he was not giving us all. He was going through this like New Jersey twerk period. He had his New Jersey twerk period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I don't care. This is uh, but with that being said, when they made that legendary uh appearance and and battle and uh and won that battle the way that they did with those bars and that energy that they put together, for some reason, everybody came around and it's like he gave it's like it's like Tay Rock gave Sue Surf that energy. He gave him that, that, okay, they don't want to mess with you right now, but since you connected with me, they got to deal with you. And ever since then, Sue Surf's been running. And no, I'm not hating, sir. I'm not hating, nephew. Nephew, I'm not hating. Just keeping it 100. I think Tay Rock is a big reason to where you, is a big reason for why you are where you are and how fans look at you today. Gun titles, gun titles. That was, that was, that was excellent. But anyways, next up. Uh, T-Rex, this battle, this battle, I had Surf beating you, Rex, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the Recycle God, that's what you are, we should, you should have a tattoo with the Recycle mark on your, on your, on your arm or something, or on your chest, or, or on your, your face, your, anywhere, you should, you should get that Recycle, that Recycle tattoo, but I got, uh, Surf beating Rex, Shotgun Shug, ah, this was another U-Dub battle, I remember this like it was yesterday too, cause I was like, ah, I was like, ah, he's gonna smoke shotgun. He's gonna smoke shotgun. But once again, he was—he didn't seem prepared. And uh, shotgun got surf. He got surf that battle. Um, that's this is harder. Like I, this wasn't—it wasn't even debatable to me. I think shotgun actually won that battle clearly. Uh, transitioning to the next, uh, T top. Yes, yes. One of the greatest back and forth first rounds ever, ever. If you don't believe me. Press pause on this video and go check out that T-Top versus Sue Surf first round. They both went ham. This is when Sue Surf uh, took that took that uh, IV in the ER stun from 40 Cal. Yeah, I remember this. Ah, I remember this battle. Yes, I tell, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. You feel me? When um, uh, when when T-Top came out with that bar where he was like, you should have been with, with Rock. Like the Rock bar over the stove. Ah! <sighs> With that being said, Sue Surf had a great, had a, had a, had a really great second round. And uh, his third round, he choked. He choked his third round. With that being said, I had T-Top winning this, uh, winning this uh, battle. I had T-Top edging the first and winning the third, clearly. I had Sue Surf winning the second. I remember this like it was yesterday because I could still go back and watch this battle. It was, it, it was on its way to damn near being classic to me. It was on its way to being classic, but... Uh, third round, both of them died out. And like I said, Sue Surf, uh, Surf choked. He definitely choked that battle. Uh, next up, Rum Nitty. Yes. 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 Mr. Hawaiian put Surf on a can. Hawaiian punt. Ah! Ah! I remember this stuff. Yeah, I remember this stuff. We're going to 
the center. That was one of them bars that made me. I was watching that live because, you know, I get every pay-per-view. Yeah, I watch every pay-per-view for multiple different leagues. Definitely. I'm all, I've been in the culture for a minute. You feel me? I've, I've been invested for a minute. And uh, this was in H-Town. I believe this was known... It's gnome seven and gnome eight. I can't, I don't, I don't remember type particularly, but it was a gnome and it was an H. Yes, I do know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With that being said, everybody's had uh, Sue Surf winning this battle um, after watching it live. But uh, me, I, I had Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty had this one crazy, I don't know what he did in the first round that was kind of cringy, but his first round was better. But, um, Surf didn't have a Surf didn't have a third for this. He called it a gentleman's thirty. <laughs> and uh, honestly, I, I still think I think Rum I think Rum won that battle. I think Rum won that battle, and I think he won it clearly to me. His bars were a lot better than Surf, even though Surf was performing his ass off up there. But with that being said, I got Rum Nitty uh, beating Surf. Uh, next up, Geechee Gotti ah versus Sue Surf ah. Now, this was Gnome 9. And I know this was Gnome 9. Why? Because I was in the building, yes. I went back home to the H. I traveled from Seattle, Washington, got on the plane, went to go see my family, and I, and I was in the I was in the building for this event. Yes, it was a fire event, one of the best events that I've ever seen before. And I've been to multiple events. Uh, but with that being said, I have uh ooh, this was a tough one. This is another classic though. This is a classic battle. Yes, this is another classic battle. And Sue, Surf, I know, I, I, man, you got so many classic battles. I like it. I like it. That's why, because you're entertaining. And then people like to try to step up to the plate when they when they see Sue, Sue Surf on the court. They're like, yeah, we got we to gotta have our stuff together. Yeah, 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 yeah. But with that being said, I got Sue Surf. Mm, this is debatable, y'all. This is a debatable battle. Ah. I got Sue Surf edging Geechee Gotti. A lot of people are like, nah, he 30 got He got Gotti every round. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't get Gotti every round. Yeah, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. He was fire all three. He didn't choke, got through him. But uh, with that being said, I got, uh, I still got Surf beating Geechee. I got Surf uh, edging Geechee that battle. Uh, this is one of those ones where he can go back and forth. That's how dope this battle was because like I said, this was a classic. I can definitely call that a classic. In the building, oh my gosh. The energy in that Gnome 9 building was... Ah, never felt anything like it, but... Transitioning, last but not least. Yes. Yes, we are here. We are here. Read dollars. Now, a lot of people are like... Well, I'm going to say this. Before this battle happened, I thought uh, I had I had Sue Surf smoking. I had him smoking Reed Dollars. I added a 30. I added a body low key. Uh, but was it a body? No. With that being said, I still got Sue Surf beating uh, Reed Dollars. I think if Reed, Reed had Reed's third round to me was uh was 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 dope. It was dope. I kind of wish that he rapped like that the first two rounds. The first round was uh, his first round was okay. Sue Surf came and got him the second round. Um, was was he heated up in that second round? The second round is debatable. We can say it's debatable. But I had Sue Surf winning that round. That third round, Sue Surf choked. But even without the choke, um, uh, Reed Dollars came in and he, he he did his thing. That third round, he made this a debatable battle, which a lot of people were upset about. A lot of people were upset about me. I was just happy to even watch the battle, and I was happy for Reed Dollars to even put up a fight. You feel me? Because I didn't expect Reed to. I thought he was gonna die up in there. I thought it was gonna be ah. I thought it was gonna be ugly. Especially after that first round, I was like ah, Reed, ah, R.I.P. But no, no R.I.P. Reed's still here. He's still here. Reed is still here on this planet. He's still breathing, ready, ready for his next battle after this quarantine. But neither here nor there. Uh, getting to the wins and losses now. Hopefully y'all got y'all pens and y'all papers. Y'all 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 writing down the wins. Y'all writing down the, the losses, etc. Now we're gonna go with losses. Ah, so with his losses, I have Sue Surf losing to Young Ill, DNA, Big T, Conceited, Charlie Clips, Calico, A Verb, Shotgun Shug, T Top, and Rum Nitty. 
So that's 10 losses. I'm going to read those names out one more time. I got Sue Surf losing to, as far as notable names, yes, notable names, uh, Young Ill, DNA, Big T, Conceited, Charlie Clips, Calico, Averb, Shotgun Shug, T Top, and Rum Nitty. Those are 10 losses. 10 losses. Now transitioning to the good, the W's. The W's of notable names, once I say, uh, once again, I say. Um, now the wins that I got for Sue Surf are X Factor, K Shine, Bricks Bellevue, Hollow to Don, Hitman Holla, Daylight, Tay Rock, T Rex, uh, Geechee Gotti, and Reed Dollars. So I got him winning 10, 10 wins, 10 wins. Once again, I have him winning versus X Factor, K Shine, Bricks Belvy, Hollow to Don, Hitman Hollow, Daylight, Tay Rock, T Rex, Geechee Gotti, and Reed Dollars. So I have. 20 notable names, right? 20 notable names. He has 20. I, I got him with 10 notable wins. So with that being said, I have Sue Surf record being 10 and 10. 10 wins and 10 losses versus notable names. Now, when I look back at his resume, what this tells me is um, similar to New Jersey twerk. Uh, Sue Surf is great at creating moments and moments keep you in battle rap. Even if you don't win battles per se, uh, when you create moments, that's when fans want to see more of you because it's like a drug. We see a moment, we are addicted, and we hold you we, we hold you accountable for creating future moments, you dig? Even if you don't fulfill those moments or even if you had those moments for only one round. Um, Sue Surf is very, uh, ve um, very entertaining. Like I said, very entertaining. But uh, he's, he's 500 from the field. Definitely 500 from the field. And like I said, this is of notable names. I'm sure he's probably battled 15 years ago in, in, in high school somewhere on camera. Who, like, nah, but this is against notable names. You feel me? And I keep saying that because I don't want y'all thinking, oh, you just inflating, you just picking what names you want to be in there. Yeah, notable names that most of the country know that watch battle rap, most of the world knows. Yes. Yes, sir. Definitely. Yes, sir. But uh, with that being said, I got Sue Surf 10 and 10. Uh, that's all I got for today. Uh, shouts out to Sue Surf and uh, shouts out to his battle that he got coming up versus Loaded Lux. Because people are like, does he did he earn this versus Loaded Lux? Well, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. All that matters is he got it. He got it. He's box office. People still want to see him. You feel me? People still, 40 cal, people still want to see Sue Surf. It ain't no just press nine. You, you a fool, 40. Ah, you petty, 40. 40 petty. Ah. Anyways, I got to get up out of here. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Uh, this concludes another episode of uh, episode three of Battle Rap Track Sheets featuring Sue Surf. Yes, and like I said prior, uh, earlier in this uh, in this video, uh, go watch go watch my other two if you want to know what I, what I, what I think uh, New Jersey uh, New Jersey Twerk's record is as well as Tay Rock's record. Uh, you'll be surprised. You'll definitely be surprised uh, the numbers that you see and what we come up with those uh, those videos similar to this one. But anyways. This your boy, BA For Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me, I rock with you. And if you out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you just now stumbled upon my page and I've been doing this for a minute, then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all tell me what y'all think Sue Surf record is amongst the names that I just actually said. Did he, is he over 50%? Is he under 50%? Or is he just at 50% where I see or where I have him at now? Because it's only 20, I got them for 20 battles. 20 battles of people that have names that are stars, etc. I don't know, y'all tell me. But anyways, stay blessed, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, best wishes to, of health to you and all of your families and loved ones. Straight up, straight up. Mm -hmm. Until the next time, definitely. Just go ahead and get your bars up, like my wine. Like my wine, get your bars up. Definitely, 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 definitely. Anyways, holla at your boy. Salute.